Hi, it's hey everyone. We are the team from North Korea and we will be discussing about history and important milestones of the tourism industry. So here you will learn about the history and those important things that you remember here in the tourism industry. Have you traveled some part of the world or some part of the Philippines? Either some part of the province of Cebu? Have you traveled once, twice, or many, many more? Then you captured some Instagrammable posts? So, what are your experiences to that particular place? So, maybe it is memorable, right? So, what is the history of this industry, the tourism industry? Here, we will know it. So here it goes, the origins of tourism. Travel for leisure purposes has evolved from an experience reserved for a very few people into something enjoyed by many. Historically speaking, the ability to travel was reserved for royalty and the other upper classes. From ancient Roman times through the 17th century, Young men of high standing were encouraged to travel through Europe on a grand tour. Through the Middle Ages, many societies encouraged the practice of religious pilgrimage as reflected in Chaucer's contemporary tales and other literature. So that we encounter many tourists focusing on the history of the church, this um, religious site. No? It is very important that we must know what the, is the history of that certain place. So, the word hospitality predates the use of the word tourism when it first appeared in the 14th century. It is derived from the Latin hostess, which encompasses the word guest, host, and foreigner. And the word tourist appeared in print much later in 1772. So, William Hewald suggests that the word tour comes from the Greek and Latin words for circle and torn, and that tourism and tourist represents the activities of circling from home and then returning it. So when tourism becomes business, Cox and Kings, the first non-travel agency, was founded in 1758. So when Richard Cox became official travel agent of the British Royal Armed Forces. So almost 100 years later, in June 1841, Thomas Cook opened the first leisure travel agency designed to help Britons improve their lives by seeing the world and participating in the temperature or temperance movement. In 1845, he ran his first commercial package tour complete with cost-effective railway, tickets, and printed guide. Tourism becomes business. Industry growth has been interrupted at several key points in history, including World War I, the Great Depression, and the World War II. At the same time, the industry began a massive technological shift as increased internet. Use revolutionized travel services. Throughout the 2006, online travel bookings grew exponentially, and by 2014, global leader Expedia had expanded to include brands such as hotels. As you can see, the impacts of the global tourism industry today are impressive and far-reaching. Let's have a closer look at the sum of these outcomes. Tourism becomes business. The continued popularity of rail travel and the emergence of the automobile presented additional milestones in the development of tourism. In fact, a long way journey taken by Carl Ben's wife in 1886 served to kick off interest 
Makoto to travel and help to publicize his body car company, which would one day become Mercedes Benz. We take a closer look at the importance of car travel later in this chapter, and of transportation to the tourism industry in chapter 2. Fast forward to 1952, with the first commercial air flights from London, England to Johannesburg, South Africa, Colombo, Sri Lanka, and the dawn of the jet age, which many herald at the start of the modern tourism industry. The 1950s also saw the creation of Club Mediterranean and similar club holiday destinations, the precursor of today's all-inclusive resorts. The decade that followed is considered to have, to have been a significant period in the companies in tourism development as more travel companies come into the scene, increasing competition for customers and moving toward mass tourism, introducing new destinations and modes of holidaying. Tourism in Southeast Asia The countries forming the region include the Philippines, Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Myanmar, Brunei, and, and Singapore. With the more real tourist destinations of Bangkok, Manila, Jakarta, Bali, and Kuala Lumpur. The Philippines fell under Spanish rule before being colonized by America and gaining independence. Indonesia was colonized by the Portuguese. And also the Dutch and Malaysia was influenced by the Portuguese, Dutch, and British. Thailand is the only country that was never conquered by a foreign power. So the culture. This rich past influences the cultures and languages by incorporating the travels. For example, English is a major organization in Singapore, Malaysia, and Philippines, while all the other countries rely on their native language. So, the Church of the Philippines are primarily Catholic, so Muslim Muslims are that in the Indonesia and Malaysia. In Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos, Buddhist temples are very common. In Chile, so the region is well served by the international airports with flights among the major cities of the world. So, in Chile, Corinth differ, but most countries allow Americans to visit with a passport, an onward or return ticket, and no visa according to the U.S. Department of State. So, exemptions include Cambodia, which requires visa on arrival at the airport, and Vietnam, which offers the visa processing online, and that's all. Accommodation range from high-priced suites that would fit in at any world capital natives for a few dollars. For example, the top suites at the colonial-style raffles in Singapore cost in the high four figures, complete with such necessities as air conditioning and butler service. On the low end, the fan on the room at the traditional style Golden Takyo guest house in Shem Prep, Cambodia costs less than a movie ticket but includes a fan, king size bed, and attached bath. The capital cities and tourist spots boast western style stick house and fast food eateries like KFC, McDonald, and Pizza Hut, but native dishes offers new taste at bargain prices. Since the bullets can start with familiar fruits like mangoes or meat with dishes like Indonesian satay which cooks skewers of chicken or beef in peanut sauce. More adventure taste awaits with Vietnamese noodles which mixes all manner of vegetable and animals in spicy broth or shrimp paste common to many dishes in the region. Only the most daring should try the Philippine galut an unhatched duck egg with feathered embryo, a fried Cambodian grasshopper, 
or Dorian, a fruit whose excrement smell bans its transport into many commercial establishments and vehicles. Hey everyone, I am Rajul Irad, so I am here to discuss about the tourists in the Philippines. So overview, tourism has contributed significantly to the growth and competitiveness of the Philippine economy, while challenges in the global and domestic fronts have been encountered. It can be said that the industry performance for the past three years has set it, it on a track to achieve its goal in becoming a powerful economic growth engine for generating jobs and creating economic activity in the country. In the Philippines, we have also called Department of Tourism or DOT. So it has a main mission. So the Department of Tourism or DOT shall be the primary government agency charged with the responsibility to encourage, promote, and develop tourism as a major socio-economic activity to generate foreign currency and employment to spread the benefits of tourism to both the private and public sector. We have a brief history of the Department of Tourism or DOT. So in 1950s, started as private initiative, the Philippine Tourists and the Travel Association was organized. So in 1956, the Board of Travel and Tourist Industry was created by law. So in 1973, the Department of Tourism or DOT, the Philippine Tourism Authority or PTA, and Philippine Convention Bureau or PCB were created by the Philippines government.